Hi, I'm Yvette Fuentes. I'm Bob Cooker, and this is Mike Wright. And I'm Roger Penrose. We want to ask uh, for your help to fund a very remarkable project. Did you see the film The Theory of Everything? Well, wait a minute. That film was full of errors. It depicted... I was giving a talk in London on what started the understanding of black holes, and Stephen was depicted as being inspired with sparks coming out of his head or something. Stephen Hawking was not even there. OK, but do you want to know what did happen? So 52 years ago, this guy, Mike Reich, started recording like uh, seminars and talks and all of that, like about physics, about computer science, about mathematics, about philosophy. You know, we're talking 52 years ago. At the time, there was no internet. <laughs> I mean, and, uh, people weren't recording talks. So there was actually no record whatsoever what people like Roger Penrose were saying at the time. Now, of course, the days are different, but at the time there was nothing. Uh, this started in Oxford, Cambridge, London, then it went all around the world. In fact, my first keynote was basically invited by Mike himself, among like lots and lots of famous scientists. So the result is an archive with more than 100 hours of recorded material from more than 20 countries. This is a record with amazing historical value and also about cutting edge discovery. So indeed, Mike's archive is of such incredible importance for cutting edge science today. And not just science, also technology in the way it's already influenced through, through many domains and especially for many developments like quantum technology, in which I'm personally active in development. This sort of treasure trove has influenced my work in, in a great way. By the way, if we're just talking fun, like I'm also playing quantum guitar, you know, and even that stuff is due to stuff in Mike's archive. <laughs> <laughs> so decades later, this archive is still unseen, and we would like to ask your help so that we can share it with everybody that's interested. It is indeed the most extensive physical oral archive ever existed, as far as I'm aware. I really want to hope to make it available to the world. So here's the information you need to know uh, for where to send your contribution to help make this dream become a reality. We really hope this archive can be made, made available to everybody. Thanks, Mike. What am I supposed to do with this, then?